Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we're finally getting, or we should finally be getting, a Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach trailer. This could well be, finally, a gameplay trailer as well, so it's pretty exciting. What I'm going to be doing in this video is reacting to the trailer. It's at the State of Play, which is PlayStation's version of basically a Nintendo Direct. It's where the latest PlayStation games are shown off, and there's meant to be 10 games shown in this showcase, and apparently Five Nights at Freddy's is going to be one of them. Now, this hasn't been confirmed. Confirmed, but Steel Wall have been posting the PlayStation State of Play out on their own page and hinting at it. Scott Cawthon has been in the chat for this State of Play saying to various people, oh, you guys are in here a bit early today, as if he's saying, you know, you're here early because we're showing a Five Nights at Freddy's trailer. So it's not been confirmed and it maybe it isn't in here and they're just trolling us, but I do feel like we're getting a new Five Nights at Freddy's trailer and that's really exciting because we haven't seen anything like really substantial for this game since back in September at also a PlayStation State of Play because of course this game is being co-marketed with PlayStation. So it does seem like we might get something today. Now, what is this video all about? Well, as you can see, it's about 15 minutes until the State of Play starts. So I recorded this intro a little bit ahead of time and I thought I'd just get this recorded and out of the way. I'm going to throw over in a minute to my reaction of the trailer at this state of play and then after the state of play's ended I'm going to do a little quick analysis and my first impressions of what we've seen. Then tomorrow if you return here I'll have written up a full breakdown of the trailer like we usually do where we basically theorize and pick apart various shots and take a really deep dive into what the trailer is all about. Hopefully there is going to be a trailer and I haven't just recorded this intro for no reason. With that said guys I'm going to now throw over to my reaction to the trailer as we watch it live at the state of play. So sit back, relax and enjoy a new Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach trailer. If you're a fan of scary games, this next one Ooh, is for you. This is going to be Five Nights at Freddy's guys, I think. Yes. When I first found you, the Vanny Mask. You were nothing. You were small, pathetic. But now, you are more. Are you ready? Ooh, guys, what? See, there we go. That looks like it's Vanny, guys. Oh, well, Vanessa and Vanny. So, are they separate? Or are they one? When fear takes hold. Oh, wow. There's Roxanne. And reality fails. And there's Montgomery. The stage is set. We got Chica and insanity prevails. And there's Glamrock Freddy as well. Gregory, we can get you out of here. You and me together. There's Gregory then. Monty's golf course. Oh wow, they guys! They won't stop hunting you. None of them will stop hunting you. The visuals are really nice on this. You see that ray tracing <laughs> on the tiles. We have to get you out by morning. Oh, ball pits. You will do as I say. You will bring me what I want. And if you fail me, that looks scary. Both of you wow, that was cool when we were looking into the watch. It's like that little watch gadget. It's like portable security cameras. Oh, that looks creepy, guys. That actually looks awesome. How is how's that gonna all play out? There is more going on here than you realize. 2021. Still no firm release date there, but at least we know it's coming this year. That was a chilling new look at Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. That looks really good. Congrats, Steel Wool. So yeah, good job Steel Wolf, that was really, really impressive. I'm gonna have to really go over that because there's so much in that trailer. Like we went from having these panning shots of environments to suddenly having this trailer that was full of gameplay and we got to see, you know, like how a lot of the different gameplay elements are gonna work. There was one part where we were like hiding and it seemed like Vanessa, the security guard, was searching for us, which does make me think like maybe like some of you guys have been saying, they are the same person, Vanny and Vanessa, but like I still have some kind of like belief that Vanessa is the security guard and Vanny, you know, is a separate person who's been using her ID to like infiltrate this facility. 
it, it, there's so much to take in. I'm still watching the state of play at the moment. I'm going to go back and have a look at it properly and break it down for you guys in a second and give some more impressions of it. But from my first impressions there, that just looked really, really cool. Um, it looked like there's so many different gameplay elements at play. You know, so many different, like, scenarios you can get into. It's not just, like, one thing like usual in these Five Nights at Freddy's games. Um, it's more in the direction of Help Wanted where it looks like there's lots of mini games along the way, which is what we've been saying but probably was going to be the case with this game. But either way, guys, that was your first look at Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. I'm going to go and have a little look through the trailer and I'll be back in a second for a bit more of an analysis of what we've seen and some more impressions. Okay guys, so what I've done is got the trailer from Steel Wall's YouTube channel up on the screen here so we can go through it sort of scene by scene and have a quick analysis of, you know, everything we see here and uh, a better look at it in general. When I first found you, you were nothing. You were small, pathetic, but now you are more. Are you ready? So the first scene, of course, as you can hear, is obviously Glitch Trap speaking to Vanessa. Well, to Vanny, I should say, because I don't think Vanny and Vanessa are the same character. I think the person in the rabbit costume is Vanny, who is impersonating the security woman, Vanessa. That's my little theory on that. And I do think from this trailer, which we'll get into in a little bit, it looks like my other theory that there are two campaigns in this game, one where you play as Gregory and one where you play as Security Girl, is in fact correct as well, which is nice. You know, if, if that's true, I'm excited to have two campaigns to play. That would be really cool. But yeah, this is Glitch Trap speaking to her. Almost sounds a bit like William Afton, doesn't it? Um, so if that is correct as well, then it would mean that our theory that Glitch Trap is William Afton is also correct, uh, which I think most people are thinking is the case by now, but it's just something to bear in mind. Now, of course, we get our first look at Vanny as she skips down the hallway playfully towards us with those glowing red eyes. Really, really creepy. And you can see as well, it says here, gameplay is captured on PS5, um, mix of gameplay and cinematics shown. So a little bit of uh, both gameplay and cutscenes here. There we go. That, of course, is Vanessa there, the security woman, looking very concerned. There's the logo with Vanny skipping across it. Now it says, when fear takes hold, now here we get to see a look at Roxanne Wolf. Now she looks really cool. I actually think all the animatronics models look really, really good in this game. Um, like, Help Wanted had decent character models, but in this game, they've really polished it. Like, you can see there's a shine to all of them. They have, like, really nice, like, they don't have, like, jagged edges to the models. They're, like, really nice, smooth features. And as you can see, they're also really reflective of the environments. I just think they look really awesome and almost exactly as the concept art represented them, which is quite hard to get right. Now, this is our best shot of Monty, <laughs> the best shot that I can get, guys. This is the next shot, of course, in the trailer. He looks really, like, annoyed, doesn't he? Um, I guess alligators are kind of ornery most of the time, but yeah, he looks really savage and, you know, will be pretty creepy having that thing chasing us about, I'm sure. And again, another really cool character model. Now here we get to see Glamrock Chica, and she actually seems like she might be dangerous to us. Although, if there are two campaigns, it could be that she's only dangerous to the security guard. And again, that was part of my theory, that there was going to be two animatronics that helped Gregory, which would be Glamrock Chica and Glamrock Freddy, and then the moon animatronics Montgomery and Roxanne would be the sort of enemy animatronics to everyone, and they would be controlled by Vanny. It says, an insanity prevails. So there we get a shot of all of them, guys. Now, insanity prevails is an interesting term of phrase because, of course, we know that Vanny is sort of insane and controlled by Glitch Trap. So this could actually mean that Vanny and Vanessa are the same character and insanity prevails means her mind is indeed being controlled by Glitch Trap and he manages to overcome her good side. But I do still think they are separate. But I just wanted to throw that quick theory out there because that sort of terminology is interesting. So here's a shot of Gregory and I like how he looks quite like a cartoon character. You know, all of these characters are very stylized. 
and he seems to be looking up at a bunch of security screens around the entire pizzeria here. So he's managed to get into the control room. I don't know if this is maybe late game, perhaps an area towards the end when he manages to get some kind of control over what's going on. You can also see that he has a watch on and this is interesting because there is a watch used later in the trailer which may mean that Gregory's watch is more than just a simple watch. We can get you out of here, you and me together. That seems to be Vanessa speaking to Gregory as well, saying we'll get out of here. But if you look here, we can see that Vanessa, or the security girl, whatever we want to call her, is looking for Gregory. And it seems like Gregory is hiding behind, uh, either in a cupboard or behind a curtain here. Um, we can see, of course, here we've got this statue of Roxanne Wolf as well. So this seems like it's in the moon area of the pizzeria. But yeah, it seems like we'll be hiding from the security guard, which is interesting because that would again suggest that that's why the animatronics will attack her. But also it's going to be interesting if we do end up playing as a security guard as well as Gregory. They won't stop hunting you. None of them will stop hunting you. Now it's like we're in an underground area. And here's the ball pit. This looks really fun. In this shot, we can actually see Glamrock Chica walking about. We hear a voice say, you will do as I say. And that's really creepy. Like, look, we actually see Roxanne Wolf running towards us. Her eyes are wide. Her claws are, like, out. She looks like she's out for blood. And she's really fast. Like, you can see at this point as well, we're playing as Gregory because of the height. Like, he's really, really short. So it seems like Gregory won't really be able to outrun animatronics. Instead, he'll have to hide or get perhaps protection from Glamrock Freddy. So yeah, it's interesting to see that here, just to see how fast the animatronics are compared to Gregory. Now here, this is interesting as well. You see him bring up his watch. And this watch is very special because if we look at it, it shows how much flashlight power um, is available. It shows, it seems to show like how much power Freddy has, so it might be that we have to recharge Freddy as we explore. Um, I don't know what this 8 means, and then it's like we've got two tokens. I don't know if tokens unlock upgrades from like Fazbear stations or something. Then at the top you can see the time, it's 12.09am. I don't know if maybe it's going to run from like 12 until um, 6 like usual. But that's interesting to note, it says 12am there. And then of course we've got access to cameras to see where the animatronics are around us. We can see the various cameras here. And then we've got a map, inventory and logs. So that's going to be for sort of backstory I imagine. Logs is obviously going to be, uh, again, character profiles. And then the map will help us navigate around the pizzeria. Both of you Now if we go back here guys, we can actually see, we get a good look at the Moon character here. So there's Moon Man, and of course we can also see that there's a flashlight here. So this shows Gregory or perhaps the security guard using their flashlights. There's Montgomery, he smashes through the door. As you can see, his power seems to be that he's a brute force character. He has the ability to smash down doors and, you know, there's nothing to hold him up really. There's Roxanne trying to break through. See, she can't just break on through. If we go back to that shot before, it seems like Roxanne can't just break on through like Montgomery can. She's actually held up uh, by the gate here. So that means she's not as strong, but she'll probably find a way around it somehow, I imagine. There's Chica chasing us. The Sun character, we get to see the Sun character finally. So there you go, you can see the Sun and Moon characters. There is the Sun character jumping up. And this seems to be in the ball pit area again. There's the race course. This is Roxanne's race course. And it looks really cool. It's all lit up by neon lights. I hope we get to race around that. It would be cool if we actually get to like play golf on the golf course and you know race around the racetrack. Lots of variety in the gameplay. That's what I always like in these games. And then of course here we get to see a good look at Vanny as she peers around the corner to staff only on the side, showing that she hides from us and waits to jump out at the opportune time, at least when she's calm. Now this is interesting as well at the end guys, something I didn't mention when I was reacting. There is more going on here than you realize. Then we see this hand. Now, I don't know whose hand that is. Could that be some kind of manifestation of glitch trap put inside an animatronic? Because of course, 
He only exists as a virus, but he could be put into an animatronic, of course. And if he is put into an animatronic, maybe this is the animatronic glitch trap finds himself inside because, of course, it looks all eroded and sort of, I don't know, it looks like it's kind of all infected with something evil, doesn't it? So maybe this is Glitch Trap's hand, who knows? We can only speculate for now. But either way, guys, that was the trailer. We come to the end of it, it says 2021. Now, this has been a long video. I've been going over it briefly in this video, just sort of to go over the, the basics for you, but I will be doing a proper written analysis tomorrow where we'll dig in properly and analyze everything, you know, with a script, so I'm not just rambling like I did today. But that was an amazing looking trailer. I think Steel Wall has done such a great job. Help Wanted was one of my favorite Five Nights at Freddy's games, and this looks even better, so I can't wait to play it in 2021. Let me know what you guys think of this trailer. Now it's finally been shown. Has it lived up to your expectations what do you like about it what do you not like about it you know what is your sort of overall takeaway from this trailer my takeaway is that it looks stunning and i really can't wait to play it later this year it is a little frustrating we still don't know exactly when but i think they just don't want to be rushed you know no developer wants to sort of be pinned down to a time they're not sure they can keep so let's support steel wool go and show them lots of love this trailer was definitely worth the wait it's been and i think they deserve a lot of recognition for that with that said guys thank Thank you for watching my video today if you did enjoy it remember to like comment and subscribe and i will see you all on the next one